I want to focus on oaks for a while uh, because they are such important plants. That's the Bedford Oak in Bedford, New York, Martha Stewart land. People argue about whether it's 400 years old or 500 years old. It really is enormous. Then I hear people say, um, I'm not going to plant an oak because I won't live long enough to enjoy it. And if you can only enjoy your oak when it's 400 years old, you're right, you yeah. won't. But if you can enjoy what your oak is contributing to your local food web, and remember that's a new goal in landscaping, you can enjoy it right away. And I can say that with confidence because I planted most of my oaks as acorns, which means they were free, or two foot bare root whips, which were also free because somebody gave them to me. Uh, they cost $1.50 each. Uh, and immediately they started to call in the moths that make the caterpillars that run the food web at our house. Things like the solitary oak leaf miner, juvenile's dusky wing, the yellow shouldered moth, Suzuki's promolactus, the red washed caterpillar, the yellow vested moth, the orange tufted oneida, the spiny oak caterpillar, the two spotted oak punky, the variable oak leaf caterpillar, the red humped oak worm, the pink striped oak worm, the hesitant dagger moth, the lesser oak dagger moth, the greater oak dagger moth, the streak dagger moth, the afflicted dagger moth, the crown bucalatrix, the orange patch smoky wing, the white blotched heterocampa, the oblique heterocampa, the red line panopoda, the laffer, and literally hundreds more species of moths have come to the, they've come to the oaks in our property and you should be clapping for oaks because they're so important. And guess what? They come right away. This is a pin oak that has just popped its head above the leaves and there's a caterpillar standing on the ground eating the leaves of, of that tree. You don't have to wait decades or hundreds of years for your oak to start to support the life around you. It will do it immediately. 